Hey everybody, Sam the Midwest Handyman. Uh, today we're going to do some jewelry. So we have our hardcore adult pliers out. Um, I'm going to be honest, this isn't a jewelry tool review. Um, I prefer big boy tools because the ones that come with them just end up breaking. I don't actually feel like they're always better tools. Again, all tools have their price points. Um... But, you know, if you're getting four tools for $4.88, in my opinion, they're probably just really cheap, tiny tools. In which case, you might as well go to the Harbor Freight so, um, and get full-size tools. But anyways, these were not cheapos. Um, I don't know how stuff's going to come out with me putting company logo stuff in here. And when I monetize, there's a lot that goes with making a YouTube channel that you don't think about. But... Let's get into the jewelry, I guess. Um, so I have these bracelets. I made them um, a few years ago. I used to have a boutique. Um, I'm really small, so they're not really staying on me very well. So I thought, let's put a chain on them. And so I started a few already. Um, this one, I didn't intend for it to not be round. That's just the way I got the bead to go in. So I don't know everything. Um, I think I'm going to roll with it. It's cute. Um, I made these, so I went and got a thicker chain. I have a ton of thin chain around, but, um, again, with us all being different, beautiful shapes and sizes, what fits on me at my cuff, my arms are as thick as pop cans, people, is not going to fit the same on, on you. So, um, I did the thicker chain so you can either do it up on the base and have it hanging or you by rights could hit any one of these links or you can do the end link and just have it kind of however you want it so um you know maybe the oblong was a blessing in disguise if you're wearing it like that um if you follow this channel i wear the same thing like every day so i'm like that fashion designer that wears black every day i feel like um, I do have a wicked wardrobe and secretly I used to have a, um, rock and roll boutique. So, um, some stuff was handmade, some resold. I digress. Um, so I've already made these and we're going to add some chain today. Um, I added longer chain on this one because they weren't as wrapped as these ones. I don't know if it's what I used, the length I cut them. I almost thought this set was pre-cut to make spiral bracelets um in a kit and then I used my own beads um I almost think this one's not as tightly coiled because it's the bigger beads so just something to think about when you are cutting a uh, spiral for bracelets if you're using bigger beads you're probably going to get a bigger circle unless you put the spacers in between them I did not um so, food for thought, there's always something when you go to make jewelry that you don't think of, or amateur hour. So, anywho, I cut a couple links already, because I've just been, um, obviously practicing a little bit, and if I'm trying to knock quite a few of them out here, um, to put in the Etsy shop, but, um, I know I said I didn't fluff on this channel, so I do have some things pre-cut here. Um, which does seem kind of fluffer, but, um, anywho, so I have a couple links out, a couple different sizes, um, here, and this is what we're trying to end up with, and then we'll link that on, but I thought I better stop while I had several steps of the process going here, so, hopefully you can see, I'm trying to be wary of this I've never done this camera setup so I don't need these ones to be very long for these um these smaller beaded ones so I'm just gonna cut a link I haven't even been using this yet tonight because I've just been doing everything with my hands but um let's see I'm gonna go ahead and open up a smaller link you can use a set of pliers on the other side. This, these aren't super um, strong or heavy duty, so I'm able to just do it with my hands. 
but I wanted to show that. And then I have another tool I will get out that is not for this, but would work great for what I'm trying to do with these. So these ones I actually need to open up, not just twist them. I need them to open and grab a different set of pliers. These are actually eyeglass repair pliers, but they happen to own them and they weren't cheap, so we're going to use them. So I'm just going to grab with one side. I am fumbling a bit because I'm trying to hold my arms up all weird for the camera. So I'm going to open it up. I've bent this out of shape. It's not pretty, so I'm going to go ahead and bend it back a little bit. I want these to be a little more, this is how we ended up with the oblong as well. I want them to be a little more flat or they're not going to go in that bead. We'll get more mindful with the camera angles as we go. And also then I thought this was great to do a zoom in, but I'm going to be honest, it's really hard at this angle to do that. So I'm going to have to play with this for a sec and get it stretched back out enough to hold that bead. It came back into shape pretty well. Okay, so we accidentally made more of an oval shaped one. So how this looks like it's hanging on the bottom, it's actually the opening is what's holding that bead. Um, these beads were too big for me to spin around on this small of a circle. If I had bigger circles, did I, this small of a circle compared to this size bead, if I had bigger circles, I would have been able to probably get that bead to go around the circle. Something else to think about when you're doing different things. I don't mean I have a lot of jewelry making stuff randomly, um, but I have not made jewelry honestly in years. So I made these years ago and I'm just going to repair and redo some pieces that I did when I was younger and less harnessed, you know, less patient with the craft and putting more of a diligent work into it, I think. Just growing as an adult, right? and an artist. So so it'll slide in a little bit. I don't want it to slide in too much because it might hit that corner and then it won't be even. And I'm only saying that from because I've just done it three times. So I'm going to slide this in a little bit and then I'm going to push these together. I'm not going to be able to do it at this angle, so I'm sorry for that. Oops. <laughs> See, we're not sugarcoating it. Drop a lot of beads. And it's falling off on me again. Okay, I pinched it together a little bit more so what I did was I got it over a little bit on one side now you could break a bead doing this too just I was surprised that I didn't but again this metal wasn't super strong so then I kind of slide it over a little because I want to clear that gap and then I just squeezed them together a little bit more again heavier duty metal metals thicker rings you might not be able to get as much hand uh, movement with those. So, okay, so now I've made my little dangly piece. And then I'm going to use just a small one to attach it. I think on the last one before I closed it, actually, I think before I closed the loop, I got it on. But I'm going to be honest, I don't want to open that loop back up. So after all that, I don't want to open that one back up. So this one I'm just going to go ahead and attach. And this may be easier. I mean, this isn't a right or wrong way to do it. 
And then, so I've got it just hanging on that one I just opened. I don't know if it got it on camera. And then I'm going to loop that other piece through there. And then again, I got lucky. I can just use my hands on these. But the helping hands can be really helpful in jewelry because it can also sometimes all, um, especially if you were going to hang a bunch. So I'm going to open this jump ring. And I could use this to hold it for me. And then I'm going to take the other end of this one. And then you can use it in your favor. Like even now, I could go ahead and attach it to this bracelet. And these bracelets already had loops on them when I made them. So... We'll go over that in another video, but if you're watching any kind of jewelry, you kind of already know how to, how to do that. And if you don't, that's okay. But right now, at the angle it's at, it's not going to help me, so I am going to take it off. But, and then I'm going to close up my jump ring. And now I have, oops, the beautiful clasp side of my or not class the hook side of my bracelet so then I'm gonna take the other one where there's already a loop don't really need to attach it but I feel like I will for and then I think I've been using the larger nope I'm gonna use the medium I'm gonna grab a medium sized loop and open it up and then sometimes I just go ahead and toss my hoop on or my clasp. And then I can come back over to this. I hope it's catching it on camera somewhat. I can come over to this and hook up underneath it or whichever way. This time I'm going to hook up underneath that loop. Because then when I let go of this, it's going to just drop right down on it. I can't say it always goes that smoothly, just for the record. But maybe, maybe that's a way to do it. Hook it up underneath your other hoop. So then when you pull it out, everything's on that hoop. Does, does that make me sound like I know what I'm talking about as I knock it off? <laughs> so then it's all on my hoop. And I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. So... That's my method. Sometimes they don't always close up perfectly. You get that little gap and then you can drop everything. So I try to twist them open. If I know what I'm going to do, I try I'm really careful to twist them open um, and not pry them open. That way when you twist them back, you'll get better at, with time and you'll know how much tension to put on them. But when you twist it back, then they're they're almost that perfect solid ring again. So... But happens to the best of us, happens, you know, even with jewelry we buy in the store. So don't, you know, internet shame me for life if you get a piece of jewelry that breaks. Um, <laughs> right? Um, anywho, this one I had done already. Um, I'll probably dig through my jewelry and try to find... I don't think I have any more of these bigger beads, but I'll try to find a black bead maybe to hang on the end of this um, to give it an extra just something there. Um, I just like the extra effort of it or that extra little thing that makes it, you know, the details, right? Um, put some love in it. But this one I left bigger and with a bigger chain because, again, it um, these didn't coil as much. And so also I thought you can either wear it further up your arm and get more chain or you can pull it together a little bit more and then uh, leave the chain, you know, more as the dangly like that. It just all depends on your size and the size of your wrists. And my wrists are like two inches around. So, um I like adjustable clothing um, 
And actually, I have a dress I absolutely love, but I'm going to tell you, it looks ridiculous on me. And so what I really want to do is um, try to bring it in a little bit so it is a little more fitted, even though it's not it's not meant to be skin tight in any means. But um, just different ideas we can do to make our clothes fit us better if that makes you feel better about yourself and because we weren't all built the same how lame would that be um so am i catching on camera just barely i'm just gonna try to do another one here maybe not on the not under the microscope there Okay. We'll probably go back in, like I said, and put a big bead on that, but we might as well march forward with our quest here because we do want to finish these up and get them in the Etsy shop. And if you're into manifestation, I do have a channel for that. Uh, for, oh, like small business motivation, manifestation, a little bit of tarot. It's all clearly labeled. If tarot makes you uncomfortable, um, then it's labeled. So I'm not trying to trickster anyone. Um, that's just me. So, but we're going to manifest a thousand dollars in two weeks so oh see it got me it got me on one of them not being completely closed doesn't look like the original and this one was a little off when I opened it not to pass the buck but this one um, already had a gap in it and when they come they're usually pretty closed up already so you know, maybe I need to add a bead to that one even, which I very well could do. Like, don't buy that one. We already saw it fall apart. <laughs> so, you know, we can wear it like that and have extra chain. Or pull it tighter and then it'll have the ball on the end. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because I know I can get so rambly. Um, I will do some of these maybe next week or something. I'll sit down and make some more and just show the whole process. But again, I was just trying to get these up for the Etsy store. And, um, you know, if you're a content creator, you might as well put some content up and then um, advertise these, right? We're trying to be a triple threat here. Um so, best of luck to everyone. Um, if you like these, they'll be up in the Etsy store, um, hopefully by tomorrow afternoon. And um, I'll probably do a short video, just like displaying them. If you see that after this, feel free to like comment, help me, help me uh, get the free advertisement, get the word out. Um, that's it. We will do some earrings next just some kind of basic ones um i had had them a while and the just to be honest and because i don't want to put out crap um these look tarnished so i'm gonna go ahead and pull them off so that we have fresh clean make sure we have fresh clean healthy jewelry um and i don't know if i'm just gonna put new hoops on these I do have some other skull beads, um, but we may make some more kind of detailed pieces or I'll just make some fresh new ones as well. But um, again, some of the videos may be more short and sweet, just doing certain select parts of it because we're trying to, uh, you know, sometimes find the motivation to finish and get them up in the Etsy shop and then uh, make new stuff. So, um, 
thanks for watching. Tell me what you're working on. If you have any tips of the trade, um, places that you buy stuff at a deal, um, what's your go-to, what's your go-to on tools. I'll show the snap ring pliers. Um, I'm sure they have a jewelry version of the tool. Um, again, I'm the handyman, so I have like it, whatever tool is right for the job doesn't mean it was always labeled as that tool. So, um, again, like I love these and I have a smaller pair. I'll go over in the big tool video that I keep talking about that I've yet to film because it's just, I have to lay out all these tools on the table. Um, so they're all in buckets right next to this table. Um, and make sure that the, you know, all these tool companies aren't going to sue me also, or if I can just do it and not monetize that video, um, that's cool too. No problem. I just don't want to get sued by anyone, um, or, you know, not play fairly by any rules that people may have out in the, um, advertising world. So, um, Anywho, that's just one of my challenges. Uh, again, for daily business challenges, we have a channel for that. <laughs> Thanks, guys.